It's funny. I think I've said this exact same thing to every ex-girlfriend I've ever had. But this is all about comics. Golden Age Beauty coming up. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, my comic book collaborators. This is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And I have a very interesting Golden Age book I would like to share with you. And this is another one of those that hopefully will continue to inspire people. And uh, they did a good job packaging this. Another thing... Oh, that's my confetti. Um, another thing I highly recommend when it comes to especially eBay sellers or especially on Amazon, if you buy from Amazon, make sure you contact the seller and ask them. I mean, be nice about it. Be respectful. Be polite. And ask them that you would like your comic mailed a certain way. In other words, ask for cardboard. Ask them to place it in a box. And just be very friendly about it. And unfortunately, it won't happen all the time. But hey, if you can get it to happen more often than it would have if you didn't say anything, it would absolutely be worth it. So communication is the key. Because, you know, if the comic arrives damaged, you're the one that loses out. Because even if you get your money back, you know, let's say you won a $1,000 book for $200. You don't want that book destroyed. So we want to try and prevent that at all costs. So communication is the key. Don't assume that people love the comic just as much as you do or even care. I mean, so and some people honestly just don't know. So we don't want to just assume that they're everybody is rude or obnoxious or just, you know, doesn't care. Some people may just not know. So we don't want to assume. Look at us. I even get free snacks. There we go. Um, and you want to communicate. So this book, and this is why I like talking while I'm doing this. So actually it passes the time. So you're not just watching somebody cutting open a box for five hours is this is a golden age book. I'm not sure if this is a key, but it is definitely an earlier appearance of a major character. Now, I'm sure you would assume that it would be DC because there are very few Marvel characters around that time. And if you did speculate that, you will be correct about that. It is a DC character. Now, this is another one of those books, Sheesh, they definitely did a good job, where they had a buy it now price, and that was it. No best offer. But you guys know me, and it's one of the things I'm trying to inspire people to do is, com again, communicate with the uh, sellers, because you never know, they may take you up on an offer. And I'll tell you the price, of course, after I show the book. But because this was not a best offer, most people probably would have passed it up or just paid the price that they were asking for. To me, I'm not afraid to ask for deals because you may get one. So with that being said, let me first show you the book and then I will show you the price. So this is a Golden Age book. And we have... All-Star Comics, issue number 12. And this was graded CGC 3.0. It's got light tan to off-white pages. And it says that Wonder Woman becomes secretary for the Justice Society of America. This is before it became later on the Justice League. So it was originally called the Justice um, Society of America. And this also has a full-page ad for Wonder Woman number one. So this book came out before Wonder Woman number one. Now, her first appearance is in All-Star Comics issue number eight. So this book came out in 1942. Her debut was in December of 1941. So this is within the first year of her debut. Now, as you could see, it says August, September. So they were doing this, I guess, bi-monthly um, or every other month. Yeah, bi-monthly. So it was def no, because bi-monthly means twice in a month, every other month. So this is an absolute gem, in my opinion, especially for the price I paid for it. It is graded by CGC, so I don't have to worry about all the fees it would cost to have a book this old graded. 
3.0 I'm very happy with, but this is a very early appearance of Golden Age Wonder Woman. And you know she's going to be having a second movie, and it's one of the few DC movies that was actually watchable and even enjoyable. Um, I don't think, in my opinion, it was as great as some people were saying, but it definitely was not bad, and um, it gave potential that they could go on the right track. So we'll see what happens. But here's the situation. This comic book was listed at $800. Now, that price for a 3.0 for such a, an older comic, to me, is not that bad in itself. It's definitely a little bit below what the current rates are going for for this book. But I figured... This is what I'm going to do. I don't want to pay $800. i am going to make an offer, and um, if they agree with it, I'll buy it. If not, I'll pass it up and wait for another deal. So I made them for an offer for $600. They came back at $625. Now, normally I'd say that's not bad because, you know, that's pretty close to what I asked for, but I actually did not have $625 available. So I, and I was being honest about it, because at the time, I only had about $600 that I could spend. So I asked him, it's like, I appreciate you being flexible. Thank you very much. Um, I only have $600 to spend on it. And if you can do that, I will absolutely buy it from you. If not, I totally understand, and I appreciate you getting back to me. And they ended up agreeing with that and wrote me a letter, and here is the price. Unfortunately, this thing doesn't zoom in. And it doesn't focus well, but that is $600 with free shipping. And they even wrote me a little note that says, uh, thank you very much. Hope you enjoy it. I absolutely will. And that is All-Star Comics number 12, CGC 3.0, 1942, Golden Age, World War II victory cover, Justice Society of America, Wonder Woman, for a total of $600. So I was able to get $200 off of a book that was not even available for a best offer. As you can see, and if you've been watching my videos, you see time and time again, I've been getting to this point where I'm not afraid to ask. The worst they can say is no. Now, obviously, on an $800 book, I'm not going to offer them $50, you know, because that's going to be an insult. So depending on the book or, you know, how bold you are, you know, sometimes you have to make sure you don't go too far and totally undercut a person, because then you're almost guaranteed to fail. So you do have to keep it within reason. But this person was willing to go from an $800 book, and who knows, maybe they've had it for years and they couldn't sell it. But they had a buyer that, well, okay, I'm only losing $200 off my irregular price that I wanted, but who's to say they didn't have this since day one? You know, it's not impossible. Somebody had to have it, or maybe they paid $100 for it. You never know. Somebody could have just gave it to them. They could have found it in their basement. Or whatever, maybe they just needed the money. So, oh, and there you go. You get one of the cats. So he just, like, hopped in there. That was pretty good. I guess he so heard me talking. So my point is that you can make deals happen. And don't always assume that somebody's going to say no. Because if you didn't take the chance on this, you're guaranteed to not have the book or paying the full price. So for me, I was in a win-win situation because if they didn't agree, I would have just passed up on it and waited for another opportunity. But they did agree, so I was able to get a book for $200 cheaper than what it was listed for. I was absolutely comfortable with that price. I am really loving this book, and uh, I don't even have to get it graded because it already is. So early Wonder Age, Golden Age book. It also has appearances. Let's see. It says... Um, Who's in here? Hawkman is here. In there. Adam. The Adam. Dr. Fate. Sandman. The Spectre. I mean, there's some great early Golden Age heroes. So, very happy with this. So, especially with the uh, first, paid ad, per first page ad of Wonder Woman number one. And considering that her debut was in All-Star Comics number eight. I can't complain about this. So I would love to know what you think. And uh, if Reggie, if you're watching this, I will get you to eventually get yourself some Golden Age books. Because trust me, once you get one, you are addicted. So it's just a matter of time. So if you know Reggie, and he's a good guy, subscribe to his channel. I've mentioned it before. He's getting close to 1,000 subscribers. Um, tell him I said he better get his first Golden Age book or we're going to abuse him for it. 
So don't forget to wait until the end because obviously my cat cannot wait because at the end of every video, I do a surprise subscriber shout out. Please make sure you send a little message to the person like in the comment section, whoever got the shout out because 99% of the people that have the shout outs actually asked for them. So it means something for them. So show them the love by leaving a little comment in the comment section. And uh, as usual, if you have watched this far, please tell me what it is I am holding up right here before you. And the cat is very interested in this. It's Scotch Magic Tape still in the box. So let's do this. We're going to do a Scotch Tape unboxing. So this is tape before a live audience. So there you go. Oh, the cat's blocking it. So there you go. There is an ungraded 9.8 roll of Scotch Tape. So you got a two for two on the unboxing. So this is the mini unbox. So put that in the comments section. Wait until the end. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. And now we're going to do the cat zoom. Mm, apparently not. We'll just pet him. See you next video. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching my video. If you'd like to connect with me on Facebook, you can click right here. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, you could click right here. If you'd like to get 2% cash back on your comic book purchases off of eBay, you can click here. If you want to hit subscribe and join the channel, we'd love for you to click here. Now, on to the surprise subscriber shout-out. Enjoy!